pertaining just to this channel in general than this video. I just want to note that going forward, I do plan to continue this channel. However, the content is going to veer away from the one topic that I was talking about and talking about these snark pages and some of these situations on the internet as a whole, uh, just because I find it interesting. And I think it's an important discussion to have. And quite honestly, the other situation has been talked about. I don't really have a whole lot more to say about it. My videos will mostly uh, remain available for those who would like to review it. But um, as I'm sure a lot of people have guessed, I am moving on. I have no interest in talking about it. Um, I probably will not be comparing Santa Fe at Bay to Jubilee. Quite honestly, I feel like the only person who is going to find that entertaining and interesting is Jubilee herself. So... I think we can skip that one. Let's look at the comments and how they're not going to talk about Jubilee. I wonder why she's claiming that it's been played out and she's not going to talk about it anymore. Hmm. I'm, I wonder if it has anything to do with this video. To you guys about something really serious and I need to set a really real boundary and I need people to hear me this time. I have said this for months and yeah, I need you guys to hear me this time, okay? Anyone who goes and interacts with Jubilee, I will block you. Like this situation is over. I am handling things with an attorney. I am handling things with the Vancouver police. This needs to stop. And people who give her attention and give her views and tell me what's happening over there are only making this situation worse. I don't care what's going on in Jubilee's comment section. I don't care who supports her. I don't care what Carly's doing. I don't care. Like I am focusing on my health and I need you guys to hear that. Do you, like, truly, okay, if I said months, months ago that anybody who wanted to continue to watch Jubilee and that whole car crash, like, you guys can go do it, but I'm going to block you. There is no reason to give that woman views. She is so sick. And, like, that's just, like, some weird cult space to obsess about me every single day. And it's really fucking creepy. And it will not exist in my universe anymore. Do you hear me? Imagine what difference it would have made if Caitlin McWilliams had spent her um, full-time energy volunteering for Ali Priestley if she had used any amount of that for any of the other influencers that she follows. Like maybe Alex, Pretty Pastel Please, helped in any way, I don't know what she could have done, but instead of making long-form content, allowing Allie to be a giant internet bully, she had instead helped Alex 
Maybe Alex wouldn't have been under the stress she was in. Maybe Alex would still be here. Found it. It was from the live on the same day. So here is Caitlin's comment, right? Hi, Jubilee. I'm not allowed or disallowed to do anything because I am adult. Hope that helps. Guess you're the one cult follower who is allowed to interact here. You proved your unquestioning loyalty to Allie. 